Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason. Now, have you got an old uh, slow laptop like this one right here and trying your best to run uh, astronomy software and it just seems to be glitchy or it'll load up and it doesn't seem to do anything at all? Um, well, even if you haven't got an old slow laptop, um, after watching this video, I can guarantee your laptop's going to be in tip-top shape and uh, it'll be like new, basically. Um, and definitely make these astronomy programs work a little bit faster for you. Um, so, I mean, I was having this trouble with uh, Stellarium, actually. I first noticed it with uh, Stellarium. If you're not aware of Stellarium, it's uh, a planetarium. And uh, a planetarium is basically a 3D star chart, if you like. I'll leave a link in, in the description uh, to uh, Stellarium. It's, if you haven't got it, I highly recommend you do get it. It's total free software. Now, um, <laughs> what was happening? St Stellarium would fire up and everything. But... Um, if you move the cursor to the left or down to the bottom left, you get like an extra menu screen pop up. Well, none of that were coming up. <laughs> and I tried all sorts. I reinstalled, you know, uninstalled, reinstalled, uh, tried running it as administrator, all sorts of things. I just couldn't get the thing to work. Anyway, after trying this uh, or finding out this little trick, um, it works like a charm now. So uh, this, I've really found this useful. So without further ado, what I'll do is I'll spin the camera around uh, so you can see what I can see, and uh, we'll we'll get on with this. And trust me, it's not technical. It's really easy to do. So, uh, anyways, I'll bring the camera around. Okay, I think you can see that. Okay, uh, I'll try and not knock the camera while I'm doing this because it's uh, a little bit cramped here because obviously I'm filming the screen. Right then. Now, like I say, this will work with um, any program really, and it doesn't even have to be astronomy programs. It could be a photo editor. It could be anything really, any kind of program you may be having trouble with. Let me just show you what you have to do. It's really, really easy. This. Now, say for instance, sharp caps not working for us properly. Okay, you're having a little problem with sharp. Cap. Now I've already got sharp cap uh, booted up. Okay, so here's sharp cap. So it's it's important that you have the program actually running. Okay. Now all you need to do is go on to your task manager. Now the easy ways to do that is just get your cursor and take it down to a blank area at the bottom of the screen. Um, uh, right click. I'm sure you all know how to do this, but just in case you don't, right click to bring up task manager and look for task manager and select it. Okay, I'll just expand that. Now, once you're in your task manager, if you look up here on the top left, okay, uh, what you want to look for is details. Okay, so find that details button and select it. Now, you're going to get a big list of things running here. Okay, what you want to do is scroll down, and I haven't got my mouse plugged in at the minute, so I'll have to do it all like this. Scroll down until you find the program that you want. Well, in our case, it's SharpCap, and here it is. Okay. So, click on that, now, to, just to highlight it, now right click, okay, on your mouse or your, um, uh, your, your keypad thing, okay, now what you want to do is go down to the, the uh, option that says set priority, alright, I hope that's showing up alright on the camera, okay, and as you can see you'll get this little window coming up, and you've got normal, above normal, high, and then below normal and low, switch this to high, it's as simple as that guys, alright, so all you do, we now, and then confirm that you want to change the priority, so we change priority, and there we go, now, what this has done, it is all the, um, Everything, all the resource, all the computer resources, wherever SharpCap's open, is going to put its full energy, if you like, into SharpCap. And any other programs that may be running, it's not. It's going to be ignoring them and saying, no, SharpCap's our priority. Okay, and it's as simple as that. And uh, like I say, just doing that and turning the priority onto different programs has really helped me with this slow computer. Uh, the only other thing I would say is, I'm not sure if it cancels out if you change it onto another priority if you get what I mean uh, like if I now changed um, Stellarium to you know put loaded up Stellarium and then change the priority to that because obviously I should imagine it can only do priority on one program at a time but I may be wrong uh, but it's just uh, worth checking you know um, if you do change the priority onto a different software just to double check go on and make sure that you know it is running on that 
Um, what I want to do now, um, if that, just in case that doesn't work for you, which I'm sure it will, okay, there's other little tips and tricks you can do to really clean up your PC. Um, so we've done with this now, so I'll just close out of that and I shall shut Stellarium down, uh, Stellarium, Sharp Cap down. Now, what you want to do, okay, is go onto your keyboard and press the Windows button plus R, okay, just to bring up your little rum box. Okay, and this is another th little thing you can do. You may be aware of it. Oops, see what I mean about knocking the camera? <laughs> you may be aware of it, you may not. Now into this little box, you want to type in prefetch, all one word. Okay, just like that. Okay, I'm, I know, okay it. Now it may be asking for administry um, permissions. If it does, click yes. Now all these little files here are all stuff that you don't need. Okay, that are in your computer. So all you do there, control A to select all, right click, delete. Okay, now if this comes up, Okay, this little thingy, just press skip, because this is obviously a little folder that your computer still needs. So just press skip, and it'll only delete things that you don't need, okay? Um, so we've done with that now, that's all done. Okay, another little uh, trick you can do in this run box, so Windows R. Okay, now you want to press um, percentage, temp, T-E-M-P. Okay, percentage. All right, and a percentage logo again. Uh, so I'm having to reach across everything. <laughs> Can't get quite good access to the keyboard, but anyways. Okay, so percentage, temp, percent. Okay, that's how you do that. We press OK. Now this is going to bring up a load of temporary files. Now I've only rec I've recently done mine, so I haven't got that many. And once again, Control All. Okay, or, or Control A to select all. Right click, delete. Okay, and once again, it's just going to delete anything that it needs. It'll prompt you, well, it didn't need anything. And once again, this has cleared all files out of my computer. Now, if you've never done this with your computer, your computer's going to thank you for it, trust me. And you'll find that now, it not only will uh, software run better, especially with this priority one, the first tip I showed you, doing this has really lightened your computer up. And you'll just find it makes uh, quite a considerable difference, actually, in the speed of your computer, boot up time and everything. Um now, I just want to mention as well a quick program. Um, it's not really astron astronomy related, but it's really useful because, as you know, in this game, we use a lot of software. If it's not Registax, it's SharpCap. If it's not SharpCap, it's PIP or whatever. Okay, so um, this is fantastic. I'm circling it here. It's called Glary Utilities. Okay, I'll just open that up just to show you what it looks like. It's a really easy way of cleaning up your computer. It's a free program again, free software. Okay, now if you go here, when you do open Glary Utilities up, you've got overview and one-click maintenance here, the middle option. Okay, click that. Now, as you can see, you can you can now clean your registry cleaner, shortcuts fixer, spyware remover, disk repair, tracks eraser, temporary files clear, all that, okay? And it'll automatically do it for you. The disk repair and uh, tracks eraser, I'd sometimes clip, click them off because it does take a long process to actually clean them up. Uh, but I advise you do it, you know, at least once a week, this. And it's really going to, um, I mean, this has massively improved this uh, old laptop. And uh, all you do then is just scan for issues. Okay, and it'll just go through um, and and just clear everything up for you. You know, all your um, all your shortcuts and and it really it's brilliant. It really is. As a for a free bit of software, uh, you can't beat this. Uh, Glary Utilities. I'll leave a link for that in the description too. So give this a go, folks, um, and uh, I'm sure you, you, it's going to be of some use to you. That's all there is to it, guys. I mean, it's not that difficult, is it? Now, even if you haven't got a slow computer or even a modern computer, I still highly recommend a, uh, that Glary Utilities program. It's a great little program, uh, and it just keeps your computer in tip-top form. Because we all know computers slow down. They're really fast when we first get them, and then all of a sudden they seem to get slower and slower and slower. And it's all down to these temporary files and rest of it that they, 
the, the store. Uh, but like I say, this changing your uh, priority, uh, that little setting and that, that first tip is probably the, the most important one. Um, like I say, it's really helped on uh, all my programs, really, um, on this computer, because it's, uh, I tell you, hamster powered, I think. <laughs> well, guys, uh, I know it's only a bit of a short one, this one, uh, but thank you so much for watching, and I really hope that it's uh, going to help some of you. Now, if you like the video, please press that like button, if you would, because it really helps the channel. In fact, hitting the like button helps the channel more than uh, the sub count, believe it or not. It uh, it, it helps with the uh, YouTube algorithm or whatever it's called and, uh, and it just notifies other people of the channel uh, basically but it, it really it will be <laughs> try and speak <laughs> you really will be doing me a favor though if you hit that like button guys so in the meantime take good care of yourselves and I will see you on the next one bye for now